Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. You may have seen my video on WSL2 and how to get the Windows terminal and some of the new cool things happening with Linux on Windows. In case you haven't, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check those things out because you can be running Linux on Windows as well. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is the, the Windows terminal and how to make your command line prompt more interesting. Now, this is not dependent on DOS or PowerShell or Ubuntu or whatever. This is just kind of generalized prompt love that you might want to give your prompt. You can see here in Ubuntu, I've got my prompt with has the name of my computer and my username and then a path. Uh, in my kind of DOS, I'm using a alternative shell called Yori uh, that you can get. It's similar to uh, command.exe, except it gives you autocomplete. So you can see that I'm typing like notepad and it gives me a .exe. That's called Yori. You can go check that out. I'll put links in the descriptions. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to show you was that I'm using a custom font. Okay. I'm using a custom font here called Cascadia Code. So let's go and take a look at my profiles. So let's do this. What I've done is I've clicked this drop down and I've hit settings and that's going to open up profiles.json. And inside of that, so you can see here that I've got the font face set to Cascadia Code. Cascadia Code is a new font that Microsoft just released, and you can actually go out and search for that and find Cascadia Code. And what you're going to find is a GitHub here that includes this new, uh, the source for this new font, and you go and download it under release. Now, this is an open source font. It was just released yesterday under an SIL open font license, so there's source code for it. You can make your own as long as you don't name it. Uh, Cascadia code uh, and there's some issues Some people have said that they like this about it and they don't like that so you know it's a living breathing font it's pretty cool it's a mono spaced font it also includes a thing called ligatures that we're going to talk about so if I go out to the command line here and I type some stuff here's what the font looks like right so if I do things like 1 and L or 0 and O and little o uh, you know, I can see the difference of and how this is a programmer's font. It also includes a thing called ligatures. So if I go and say hyphen, and then two hyphens, and then three hyphens, and then an arrow, it looks like this, but two hyphens, look at that. This is called a ligature font. So if I go like this and like that, but now I put them together, that's interesting. Or if I do this and this, now it's one thing. Or even here's a weird one, www, look at that. See how that turned into an interesting glyph that's called ligature. So this is something that's included in Cascadia, in Cascadia code. But uh, one of the things that I want to do is bling out my prompt. Because what I'd like to do is be able to go, for example, in PowerShell core or something like that over to my GitHub folder. And then this is Git. This is uh, the source code for my website. I'd like to see like what, what uh, branch I'm on and I'd like to see information about that. I want my prompt to look cool. Here's the best way you can do it if you're using something like PowerShell. What you can do is you go over and you can go to a place called Oh My Posh. Now Oh My Posh is a PowerShell uh, system f that is a theming engine. Now this says it's running in Con Emu, but honestly, any alternative console is great. The Windows Terminal, uh, can do it. So even though this is a couple of uh, years old originally and now is uh, occasionally looked at every few months, it works amazingly. So I want my font to be blinged out and I want my prompt to be blinged out like this. So here's what you got to do. It's very, very simple. Again, you can use Conemu, but I would recommend that you use the Windows terminal that you can go and download from the, uh, the store. You just go and run install module. You get posh git from Keith Dalby and Oh My Posh from Jan. And then you call these two things if you want to go and see it right away. I also recommend PS Readline, which is a very specific version of PS Readline. So these three things, install PoshKit, install Oh My Posh, and install PS Readline. You'll notice that the scope is current user, so you don't have to run this as administrator. And then I want you to just go back out to your prompt, and I'm gonna say notepad dollar sign profile. Use the text editor that makes you happy. And at the bottom of that profile, I'm going to import the PoshKit module. I'm going to import all my Posh, and then set a theme. There's lots of different themes. The theme that I'm going to pick is one called Paradox. And when I close that, and then I close PowerShell Core, and I open it again, I get an interesting prompt. Okay, now look at this. I'm going to go over here to 
GitHub, and I'm gonna say, hey, look at that. I can see that it's trying to do something. And again, lots of different choices. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. There's lots of themes and configuration and choices. Very, very creative thing, oh my posh. Sits on top of posh Git. However, that doesn't feel right. This doesn't look right. It's clearly trying to use a number of glyphs that I don't have, okay? Cascadia code by default today in its first release doesn't include powerline glyphs and nerd fonts and different stuff that you might want to be able to uh, make this stuff look cool. In fact, if you go up there to the Cascadia code GitHub repository and you go and you search for nerd, people are going to go, oh, hey, quick, already add powerline symbols. It's been asked for. People want to do that. Well, turns out you can go to nerdfonts.com. There's lots of different developer fonts you can download, not just Cascadia code, but this video is about being custom. So what we're going to do is we're going to patch Cascadia code on my machine, make our own glyph. We're going to basically add glyphs into Cascadia code. So what you can do is download a thing called FontForge. Now I'm running Ubuntu, remember, under WSL. And again, I have a video about that. You can go and check my blog or you can Google for it. And what I can do is open up Ubuntu. This is real Ubuntu running on Windows here. I'm running Ubuntu 1804. And what I did, now there's lots of ways you can do this. If you want to download three or four gigs, you can certainly go and get the clone the nerd fonts uh, repository if that makes you happy. But instead, I just downloaded and installed FontForge with apt-get. What you want from nerd fonts is this font patcher. Okay, You can go and grab that font patcher by either installing it from here you can go and follow the instructions. You just have to have Python on your machine and then you download the font patcher. And the font patcher will go and take any font, any TTF or any kind of font you have, and you can go and say, I want to go and add Font Awesome or these Linux fonts or Powerline or whatever. I want to add those myself. Okay. Very, very simple. It's just the font patcher, the name of the font, and then the stuff you want to do to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run out here and I'm going to run font forge the font patcher script and notice that i'm in ubuntu but i can talk to the mount point c drive where i happen to download cascadia and again i could say dash font awesome but i'm going to say dash c for complete and look it's adding glyphs look at this power line extra symbols okay so we generated that so now if i go and say LSTTF. You can see I've got Cascadia Nerd Font Complete. Okay, I'm in Ubuntu, so I'm going to type explorer.exe. Now, Ubuntu on Windows is really cool because it lets you launch Explorer. So I'm going to hit Date Modified, and there it is. Cascadia Nerd Font Complete. See how much bigger it is? Went from 200K to almost a megabyte. Double click on that. Hit Install. All right, so I've got Cascadia Code Nerd Font Complete installed. Now, Let's go back over here. I'm just going to hit Windows left. And then I'm going to hit my profiles. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say Cascadia Code Nerd Font. Now, make sure, make sure that you double click. Now, make sure that you double click on the font and you know its actual name. The name is not the file name. That's the name. I'm going to change this for PowerShell Core. Cascadia Code Nerd Font. I'm going to remove the space. Boom. I'll do that again. No space. Save it. Boom. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Let's go ahead and make that full screen now. Let's try another repository. Uh huh. Isn't that cool? So what we've done is we've used our own custom font. Again, you can do this with any monospace font. You can go and use the nerd, uh, nerd fonts. Or just to be clear, if you don't want to do any of this kind of work, you can certainly go up to nerd fonts and they've done a wonderful service for us all. And you can go and download your own nerd fonts. So nerd fonts, font downloads, pick the one that makes you happy. Currently, Cascadia code is not there yet. Uh, and you can go and uh, try that out. So what I've done here is I've added 
uh, posh kit. I've added Oh My Posh, and I've added uh, a nice monospaced ligature font in the form of Cascadia code, and then made that available to me in the terminal. Of course, I'm hitting Control Scroll, which is really nice here. And because I've got Posh Git, I can also do things like Git, Tab, Checkout. I can even see my branches with a tab, which is very, very nice. So check that out um, and subscribe to this channel, please.